showered and fed in the excellent first class lounge, it's now time to jump on board the uh, British Airways 787 to Cairo. Unfortunately, when British Airways purchased their new 787 aircraft, they didn't opt for a new seat design. Business class here is the same as their other aircraft, a sort of yin-yang layout where half the passengers fly backwards. On the 787, business class is laid out in a 232 configuration. Please pray that you never end up in the backward facing middle seat, unless of course you like the feeling of claustrophobia and awkward eye contact with not one but two of your fellow passengers. These seats were launched about 18 years ago, and at the time, they were revolutionary. British Airways was the first airline to offer proper lie flat beds in business class. This was obviously a good thing, however these seats also came with some serious flaws from a practical sense. And rather than fix these flaws over the years, BA's attitude appears to have been, well we've done our bit for innovation, now we're going to have a lie down and let everybody else take over. I also flew the 787 from Cairo to London in an aisle seat a week earlier and this video will cover both seats. The actual seat is very comfortable to sit in, although it may be a bit narrow for some. This narrowness also means togetherness with your fellow passengers. Your neighbour is literally right there. At the beginning of each flight, one or both of the passengers have to decide the privacy screen protocol, up or down. In most cases, it's up. You wouldn't want to be claustrophobic. There are no claustrophobia issues on the aisle seats. They have no privacy whatsoever. Each seat is provided with a storage drawer. Judging by the crumbs in mine, I suspect a hamster or squirrel may have been living here previously. Seeing how dirty it was, the only thing that I would store in here are my shoes. That said, when the seat is in the bed position, you have no access to this drawer, so you can head to the bathroom in your socks. Next to the drawer, and just out of reach, is the power socket. British Airways have decided that no further storage areas are needed, that is, absolutely none at all. Glasses, headphones, newspapers, etc. can be held on your lap or inconveniently placed in the overhead locker. To get into the window or middle seat, you walk in front of the person in the next row. When they have their footrest down or bed made up, you step over this. When your own footrest is down or bed is made up, the area you step into is tiny. It took me about 10 minutes to make the bed up for this shot, the space was so tight. Then when I eventually climbed into bed, I accidentally put too much weight on the footrest. Remember, it's not a seat. This caused it to collapse and I had real trouble getting it back up. Eventually, I made it into bed. That's when I remembered that BA decided I didn't need any more storage space. So my options were the table, or sharing my pillow with all my belongings. Again, this was designed genius by BA as it gave me the opportunity to reconnect with my seven year old self and treat all my belongings like they were soft toys. I kissed them goodnight and went to sleep. The bed was actually quite comfortable, but it appears that the rows on the 787 are just that little bit closer together, so if you're over six foot tall, you'll need to curl up on your side. The window seats do provide a good level of privacy though, and that is something that the aisle seats completely lack. On these, it can feel like you're actually sleeping in the aisle. Like my earlier BA flight, the crew on this flight were excellent. They were friendly and engaging. 
service started with champagne on boarding and I followed this up with a gin and tonic after takeoff. Dinner was served. I had the poached pears with blue cheese followed by the Atlantic cod. Both were delicious. It left no room for dessert. One of the things I love most about the 787 is the windows. They are much larger than other aircraft and rather than shades they darken at the touch of a button. This allows you to keep looking out the window even in the darkest setting. British Airways provides their amenities kit in a soft bag which I find much more useful than a hard case. No PJs or slippers are provided in business class. The entertainment system worked well. You can control it via the touch screen and a remote. I like the interactive route maps and there was plenty of TV and movie choices. My only criticism would be that the audio choices were very limited. Coming into land, I could only reflect on how frustrating British Airways is. They have good food and great crew, but have been severely let down by their hard product and the impracticality of these seats. There is therefore no way that I would choose to fly them on a long haul flight. My mother worked for BA for many years when I was young, so I've always had a soft spot for them. Back then, they set the standard. But unfortunately these days, they've been happy to let the rest of the industry pass them by. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel where you'll find a whole load of reviews on a whole load of other airlines. As always, happy travels.